being prosecuted and going to jail for 12 to 25 years. How is that received within the service? Yes, I think we need to look at the posture of the law. And I will say it's a good one. This is a democratic country that we are aspiring to make our nation great and strong. And for the giver and the taker should be punished by law. And I believe that the law has spoken well of it. And uh, looking at what is happening uh, within the police, our new Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Kufudampari, has come out and ruled out so many programs. Mm. And during his visits and meeting police officers, the anti-corruption is on his desk. It's one of his vision to make sure that we detach ourselves from such unholy practice, such criminal acts, you know, for us to resume and have our identity, you know, in more clearer terms. For instance, uh, we've seen that uh, this is the first time in a generation that the police is trying to restore its image operationally, in terms of service provision, in terms of doing away with corruption. And I believe that we need to support him. We need to support the new administration and make sure that we weed out corruption and histories, you know, within the service and still more focus in service delivery, excellence, and what have you. So um, all that we are saying is it's a, it's a good law. And now looking at the trend, the new wave in the service, uh, people are beginning to see eye to eye with the Inspector General of Police and members of his administration that we need, you know, to stop this. And um, so listening to yeah. mm. Mr. Ace Ankuma mm. during the last lecture, if the police or the state could the lecture support, which we are he's talking about we are going to have a version uh, of no, it no, here no, not on the, religion but regard, religion and Ghana law yeah you're uh, not, regard to corruption okay he, okay he says yeah. something yes that the state uh, should rule out programs that will enable the police bite and i think from his analysis what he said what he experienced in the u.s yeah or some other country. Yes, that's in the US. And Ghana, where we have the laws, but we've not implemented it. And that day, he made it clear that should we implement it, one, our finances will be strong, <laughs> and, and it will help, you know, in being funding policing you know, or whatever project the state decide. Right. And, and, and I believe that it is a good idea. We need not waste time, but let's empower the police you know to do what is right again because you don't have that system the officers are the ones taking the money into their pockets and they are taking the money corruptly and criminally when the process if it had been properly ruled out they would have used it to benefit your pocket as in the organization and empower you logistically to be able to do your work so i believe that now that this subject matter is being you know discussed i believe that the state authorities will look at it because already we have the law mm -hmm. so there is a question of working out and ensuring that we implement it and i believe that discussions of this nature can go far right but i can assure you mm. that the new wave in the police service is trying to beat down do away with corrupt practices I, and I the IG is very stern on it mm. members of the police mm. administration are committed to it and therefore we are gradually you know making sure that we sensitize our personnel mm. and uh, at the same time also we're also encouraging members of the public not you know to give money to the police okay I, I, I'm going to